Hi everyone, welcome to Rohini's Art Love. Today's video is for someone who is totally new to Mandala or are not sure of the art supplies required or want to know about the Mandala making process. Let's get started. We would require a compass which could hold both pencil and pen, a pencil, scale, protractor and the paper to work upon where I am using 160 GSM paper from Anupam. And we would also require fine liners and this one here is from Brustro, a pack of 6. Before going ahead, I would like to share a few points about these fine liners. So here you can see the nib which comes in different sizes. I have mentioned the nib sizes over there with their details. And apart from that, I felt 0.3 and 0.5 mm are quite most used ones. These fine liners are waterproof and are also cost effective. Cost effective because I got this from First Cry and that to a pack of six in a good discount. And I'm happy with it. Now it's time to move on to the compass and this one is from Mapid which I got from Amazon that too for 85 rupees. It can hold both pencil and pen. Now let's work on the mandala. For this we need to get the center of the paper first itself. I'm marking it for your reference here. Now let's work on the circles here with the help of compass and I am using pencil right now. Later on I will be using it with a pen. Let's measure the radius here and then work on the first circle. Right now I have taken 2 cm and for the next circle I will be taking 3 cm. So it totally depends on your choice how big the circle should be and what kind of patterns you are going to make. So as and when you keep practicing and going on, so you would know what type of mandala you are interested in or what uh, designs you would like to make. So it's a very meditative process. Uh, I would say you need to enjoy it. You need to relax your mind and uh, it's totally a good experience once you complete it. It's time to make the grid now and this is very important while doing any mandala because this helps you to get your mandala neat and clean and tidy. So it's not necessary that you need to get this one on a correct accurate thing but if it is done in a proper way your mandala would definitely look good. And to do this you would require a protractor. With the help of a scale, let's mark the grids. One more thing which I want to tell you is like, uh, I have taken measurement of 5 cm here for the grid, but you can take bigger measurements also and that totally depends upon your design. Finally our grid is ready, now let's use the pen in a compass to make the circles.
let's work on the design or the patterns now for the inner circle i'm leaving it right now later on once everything outside is finished i'll come back and work on it so for the outer circle uh, that is the first one you can either use a petal or a pointed petal or a triangle or spiral design here i am using the petal design with the help of a pencil right now later on i'll be working on top of it with the pen For the next circle, I am using pointed petal design. Now we have completed the two circles here. My mandala looks almost ready but I have to work on the outermost uh, design and also the inner circle design. This is my inner circle design and thus completing the mandala. Now I would like to show you one of my other works which I recently did for Buddha Purnima where I have used acrylics in the center for making Buddha in the resting position and around it I have made mandala. And I hope you all liked this video and it was helpful. Please do try out one mandala and let me know how it is. Thank you for watching.